Hi everyone, good morning. I have to make this kind of quick. First of all, it's 80 degrees today. It's supposed to rain, but so nice summer weather. Uh, but housing update. So we put in a bid on Sunday on this house, but we didn't have our loan pre-approval papers yet. I know I'm just jumping into this, but this is everything that's been on my mind in the last couple days. Uh, but we didn't have our loan pre-approval paper and they assured us that that would be done within 24 hours. So we put in the offer, but the offer doesn't really mean anything to people who are selling houses because they want you to back up. Like I will be able to get you this money that you're offering me. So our deal obviously didn't look like that good, but we still put in the offer anyway, didn't hear anything back. And then we were supposed to get the loan pre-approval within 24 hours. But then my address, which they need for like my credit and background check and everything, yeah. kept coming back non-residential. And they were like, is your apartment building like brand new? Like, was it built in December? And I was like, no, I'm pretty sure my apartment building is like from the 70s. It's really old and outdated. It's been here forever. I swear this is my address, it exists. And they're like, oh, maybe it's a glitch. We'll get it to you tomorrow. So it actually ended up taking 48 hours instead of 24. But the house that I want is still listed as active online. It's not like under contract or anything like that. So I'm hoping that for one, it's still available because houses are flying off the market right now. I mean, when I was looking with my realtor, there was a house that was on the market for like six days and she was like, I wonder what's wrong with it because houses are going so fast right now. And this house was listed on the market the day that I went to go look at it and put an offer in. So hopefully I'm like one of the first offers and hopefully now that we have the loan pre-approval paper, I just got it this morning and we just sent it to the realtor. Hopefully that will sweeten up my offer and they will actually be considering it today or tomorrow. So I need them to get back to me because I am stressed. <sighs> But anyway, while we are waiting on eggshells or walking on eggshells, whatever the saying is, I'm going to take Stella to school. I'm going to keep you guys updated and then we're going to go to the post office because I believe Melissa has sent us something special. So we're going to do an unboxing for you guys and yeah, super exciting day. And since I'm moving, I want to show you one of the reasons why I'm so excited to get out of this apartment complex. This is just your everyday view from my apartment, um, garbage everywhere always a dirty mattress and then construction stuff randomly that just keeps appearing and never leaving. So yeah, this place is a filthy mess and they are asking way too much money for it. Yeah. Melissa, you have outdone yourself. This box, not only is it massive, also cutely decorated, it is heavy. It is so heavy. Thank you so much in advance for whatever's in the box. I think she said it was clothes and stuff. If you guys will remember back in the day when I was pregnant with Fievel, Melissa sent us a box of clothing and accessories and baby stuff. And she basically provided Fievel's an ent entire newborn wardrobe because she is thrifty like I am and she watches sales and stuff and she asks me the kids sizes and she really just goes above and beyond. And she has been like a subscriber since like the very beginning. And we always appreciate hearing from Melissa. So when I get home, I'm going to unbox this for you guys. And just know that we are incredibly grateful for you, Melissa, and all of your support and everything that you do for us. So hey, I'm out of breath because I just carried that out of the, I'm out of shape. But also that box is heck, hecka heavy, hella heavy. Ready? Okay. Fievel is really excited about this box. Um, so we're going to open it together. Whew, I'm out of breath again because I just carried it into the apartment. Wilbur, you gotta watch yourself, buddy. I was just thinking about this in the car and I was like, even if this box is full of like leaves and sticks, which I, it's not because it's so heavy, I would still be grateful because I am moving and boxes of this size are exactly what I'm looking for right now. Okay, first thing that I'm gonna yeah. pull out here, and she, I love this, so Melissa did this last time too. She leaves little um, notes with detailed like reasons why she bought things, where she bought things, who they're for, like, and everything like that. So <laughs> there's never a moment where I like unbox something from Melissa where I'm like, why the heck did she include this? Because she's so like meticulous with her little notes here. So I might be pausing this video a lot to read things, but yeah. Okay, so the first thing here on the top is some Tupperware and I love that they're in blue and pink because we go on a lot of picnics, which Melissa said in her note, 
And this is perfect for the kids' lunches as well as Stella's lunch boxes for school. So five old Tupperware, Stella Tupperware. And this is just absolutely perfect. And one of those things that's like, not like a fun thing to buy. Like Tupperware isn't exactly like exciting, but it's one of those things that like 1 million percent, I'm gonna use it. So I appreciate it so much. I love the cake. Yeah, do you wanna look at it? It's Tupperware where you can put your sandwiches in it. Sandwich? There's no sandwich in it yet. Can you guys even see? Five all over here. I see a little sandwich. You see a sandwich? On the lunch box. On the lunch box. Okay, this one is also very well wrapped. <gasps> Hand soaps from Bath and Body Works. Pumpkin pecan waffles, strawberry lemon, marshmallow flurries. This is so awesome. Okay, so we're about to get a house, hopefully, and it has two bathrooms and the kitchen. So four bottles of new soap for those extra bathrooms so great thank you so much plus i love the fall scents so that has pumpkin in it i'm ready okay i have a knife no i have a knife you don't get to play with a knife good job there's one more <gasps> it's coloring are you literally shaking right now <laughs> Crayons. Crayons. And a little jewelry kit where you can make stuff. Can make stuff. And look, some little frozen, I think these are tattoos or stickers. Stickers. And this is a little sticker pad with Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse. We're gonna have to share this with Sissy. Share Sissy. Our coloring book. A color book? Oh, and this is clothes. Are you ready? I think this is sissy stuff. Sissy stuff? Okay. There's a sissy shirt. First? A dress. Dress? You know, I might not unbag all of the clothes on camera because I want to go Whoa. through it and hang it and make sure that I have like everything um, situated because we're moving, so I'm trying to like keep everything organized. Even but there's some floral dresses in these bags. Oh, look, books. Oh, I think these are books for me. Okay, so these are books for me. Um, she said that she meant this to be like funny, but this book is Looking for Mr. Right. Uh, oh, this is a popsicle book recipe. You can look through this one. And then an ice cream recipe book. I don't own any cookbooks, but now that I'm going to own, hopefully, hopefully a nice kitchen, I'm definitely gonna be cooking more, and it's good that I'm gonna own a cookbook. This is my first cookbook. Happy end. The end. A good story. Can you guys hear that down? sound? That's my neighbors. A candle. You want to smell? We're gonna take it. You're gonna take it. Okay. Well, it is a very nice candle. It smells candle. good. It smells good. She even included a gift for Wilbur. Look, it's a giant coloring book. It's really big. Fall placemats, which is perfect. I should really have these for the kids already um, for this box that they eat at, at the table, but I do not, so thank you. Is that what sound an owl makes? An owl makes a nice noise. This is a box of Bible clothes. Okay. Here is another sticker book. Sticker book? Here's more frozen stickers. <gasps> Look at this. Is this new jammies? New jammies? Look, you got dinosaur PJs. Dinosaur PJs. A new fire truck shirt? Yeah! That is a fire truck shirt. Yeah, these are very me socks. They have little plants and succulents on them. And the other pair has mushrooms on it. Everyone knows that I love that. And last but not least, we have a conversations to keep recordable book, questions to spark the imagination for little kids, which as you can see, Fievel talks up a storm now. So to record the little things that he's says, why are you shaking? <laughs> He's so excited about this box. 
I don't open it. We're not gonna open everything yet. We gotta find places for everything. And mommy's gonna pack some stuff. But thank you so much, Melissa, for everything this box. You went above and beyond. Um, I literally don't even know what to say other than thank you. Hey, we're not opening the coloring stuff without permission. You need to be patient. When I put this stuff away, you can color. Okay? You need to say, okay, mommy. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that, everyone. Um, but anyway, thank you so much, Melissa. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And as promised, he can now color. Okay, everyone, and now it is the next day. So at the end of yesterday, I finally heard back about the house that we put a bid on. And now I can tell you, I mean, it wasn't a huge secret anyway. I did put a bid on house number four that you guys saw in the house tours video that I just posted. And unfortunately we heard back and they said that they received a lot of higher offers. And yeah, um, there is some like realtor drama that I'm going through right now, which I'm gonna talk more about that in the next video because I just wanted to give you guys a quick update here and I'm starting the next video today. I'm gonna go on another house tour, tour, at least one, so you guys have more houses to look at with me, which I thought that was a fun video. I like looking at houses. I'm just feeling like a little discouraged at how fast they sell because it feels like the second they go on the market, there's a hundred people like offering way above the asking price and it's like really hard to compete in this market right now. And I'm obviously like trying to get a house before Stella starts school next year so I can be like settled into her school district. I saw a lot of questions about that in the comments actually. People like make sure you pay attention to the school district. All of the houses that I'm looking at are in her school district. So don't worry about that. Like that's the school that I want to keep her in. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one when we go house hunting again.